morning and welcome everyone. We're going to begin with our chair yoga, our 16 minute chair yoga in just a minute here. I'd like you to make sure you have a good sturdy armless chair and uh, that means that it's not going to tip over or collapse when you push down on it. And uh, we like to be barefoot but if you need socks because your feet get cold or if you wear orthopedics then that's fine. And um, I'd like you to have some water handy as well because of course we want to stay hydrated. So we're gonna begin by coming right to the edge of our seat and finding our perfect posture in our seated mountain pose. Our heels are under the knees, knees are lined up with the hips, tailbone tucked, core strong, shoulders up, back and down, chest proud, neck long and the chin is tucked. I'd like you to feel very nice and tall here and just notice the alignment of your lower body and your core engagement to keep you upright. We're gonna be maintaining this position for most of our class, but if it becomes uncomfortable, you can put a cushion at the base of your spine and sit back to give yourself a break. So let's take a deep breath in all the way down to the base of the spine and close the eyes. And exhale, feel the body supported by the seat and by the floor. Now, just for a moment, I'd like you to bring your attention to today's class. And first, we're gonna make ourselves a promise that we will not push too hard that will honor any feelings of restriction, especially through the joints, and that will maintain the lines of communication with our body as we move. Now I'd like you to choose your intention for your class today. So what is it that you'd like to experience while you're here, and what is it that you'd like to walk away with? And just bring that to mind. It can be anything at all that you like. Setting our attention, and now we'll take a deep breath in. Exhale and open the eyes. Excellent. So we're going to start with just a little bit of shoulder work, releasing the arms at the sides. Let's roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Good. So we're sitting up nice and straight and tall. A lot of yoga is postural correction, so that's going to help a lot with that, those muscles that we're going to need in order to keep upright. Good. And we should be feeling this stretch, just gently opening up the rotator cuff and the traps here, but we don't want to feel any unnecessary tension in the neck and shoulders. Good. And now let's come into just a very gentle side bend. Grasp the right side of the chair with your hand. You can shift to the side slightly if you like, but I'd like your body right up against that arm. Inhale the left arm up toward the sky. And then we're going to just exhale and bend very gently, only with the top of the spine. Focus your stretch in the shoulder and upper back. Inhale and come up. Exhale the left hand down to the chair. Grasp the chair. Reach the right arm up. And we're going to bend. So we'll come deeper into the stretch later. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, release the hand. For now, I just want you very gently moving with the breath to mobilize the shoulders and upper back. If your hand doesn't comfortably come to the chair each time, you can reach the fingertips toward the floor or bring the hand to the thigh. Just make sure that you're maintaining control of the middle and upper back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend. And we're going to do that just one more time. Inhale, reach up and release. And then the last one here. Breathe deep and bend. And come on up and release. And now we'll grasp the knees for a spinal release. Sitting up tall. Deep breath in. Exhale, curve and round the spine. Squeeze the belly button toward the spine. Inhale, look up, lift up, shoulders down, elbows in. Exhale, curve and round, neck is long. One more time, inhale, look up, extending through the center of your chest. Exhale, curve and round. And come back to neutral. Now we'll come into a gentle forward fold or a seated child's pose. Sitting up tall, take a deep breath in. Exhale the chin toward the chest and we'll roll down one vertebrae at a time. You can bring the forearms to the thighs or release the arms down along the sides of the body if you'd like. Relax down as far as is comfortable for you and remember that you can bring the elbows or the hands to the thighs if this is uncomfortable, especially for your blood pressure. So if you lower the head below your heart and feel dizzy or nauseated, then raise it up a level or two. Good, and now we'll walk the hands back up. And sit up nice and tall. Excellent. We'll come into a little spinal twist and then we're going to do a breathing exercise to get us started here. So sitting up tall and just nice and gently, we're going to place the left hand on the right knee, right hand on the right hip. Inhale, extend. 
Exhale, look out over the back shoulder and just very gently twist, not as far as you can go. And then we're gonna inhale through neutral and come to the other side, left hand to the hip, right hand to the knee, look out over the back shoulder. So just moving with your breathing, inhaling through the center, switch sides and rotate. Inhale through the center, switch, and rotate. Sit up tall, lengthen the spine. One more time each side, through neutral, and we rotate. So we wanna feel our back and core waking up. Inhale through neutral, exhale and rotate. And now let's come back to center and release the spine, hands to knees, extend. Exhale, curve and round. Inhale up, lift, look up, shoulders down. Exhale, curve and round. And come back to neutral. Good, now that we've opened up the muscles between the ribs and into the uh, midsection a little bit, we're gonna come into a breathing exercise to begin. I'd like you to bring uh, both hands to the top of your chest, fingertip and thumb are on the collarbone. Shoulders are relaxed, so don't let them shrug up high. We're gonna inhale and press the hands up and away with our breath. So inhale, lift the top of the chest. And exhale, allow the hands to collapse down, pressing all of the air out of the body. Good, now inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, press all of the air out. We're gonna do each breath three times. So one more here, inhale and lift. Exhale and press the air out. Good. And we'll release. Now, if that made you feel dizzy, you might want to slow down your breathing. You don't have to breathe in the same pattern as me. We're just looking for that general guideline of where our breathing is going and that we are breathing deeply into that space. So now we'll bring the hands to the rib cage. And uh, our middle finger is at about our bottom rib. You can cross the arms over if that's more comfortable for you. Check your shoulders can relax down. Inhale and expand the rib cage out, imagining it opening like a gate. Exhale and feel the ribs collapse in. Good. Now inhale again and try and keep this breath only here, keeping it out of the top of the chest. Expanding. Exhale and press the air out. Squeeze the abdominal muscles. Good. One more time, inhale and expand the ribs, feel them open up. And exhale, let them collapse down. Good. And now we're gonna bring the hands down just above the hips to the lower belly, fingertips point in. I'd like you to sit up tall, reset your position, shoulders relax down. And we're gonna inhale and imagine expanding the lower belly out like a balloon. Good, keep that breath nice and low, breathe in as deeply as you can, and then we'll exhale, squeezing all of the air out, feel those abdominal muscles contract. Good, and again, inhale, expand. Good, press the air into the hands. And exhale, squeeze, good. One more time, relax the shoulders, and again, you can cross over if that's better for you. Breathing in deeply, pressing the belly out, feel it widen. And exhale, relax the upper core, and we're squeezing the lower abdominal muscles. Good, and release. So um, we're gonna turn that into a three-part breath, just for two breaths here. I'd like you to place one hand on the lower abdominal muscles and one hand on the top of the chest with the fingertip on the collarbone and the thumb. We're gonna inhale from the bottom up. So inhale and expand the lower belly. And then bring it up into the rib cage. And then up into the top of the chest. Hold on top for just a second if you can. And then from the top down, we'll exhale, let the top hand collapse down. Feel the ribs come together. And squeeze the lower belly. Good. We'll do that twice more. Inhale, lift up that bottom hand. Expand the rib cage. Feel the top hand lift. Try and keep the shoulders relaxed. And then exhale from the top down. Good, squeeze the rib cage closed. And feel the lower belly collapse. 
Good, one last time, and make sure you're not feeling lightheaded here. Inhale, open up the lower belly. Ribcage expands, top of the chest lifts, and then from the top down. Good, squeezing the abdominal muscles, really feeling each muscle as you squeeze the air out. And then we'll release, relax the arms. Excellent, so at the end of our class, we're gonna come into some timed breathing, but focused conscious breathing is one of the best ways to hack your entire nervous system, and you can calm yourself and your whole body very quickly that way. So that's part of our mindfulness practice today, focusing on our breathing as we move. Okay, so let's now come into that deep side bend, grasping the right side of the chair with the right hand, inhale the left arm up toward the sky, exhale, and we'll bend the right elbow in toward the body. So now, in the stretch, I'd like you to make sure you're nice and even across both sides of the body on the, on the chair. If you'd like to reach out in front of the body or bring that arm across the chest or to the thigh, you're more than welcome. Check in with your shoulders. Make sure they're down and back and we don't feel any pain or tension anywhere. Good. As you inhale, again, think of expanding the rib cage. Open it up. And as you exhale, relax a little deeper into the pose if you're able, tucking that right elbow in. Good. And let's inhale and come up. Exhale, release the arm, and we'll grasp the left side of the chair. You can shift if you need to. Right arm reaches up toward the sky. And we exhale, left elbow bends in toward the body. So we bend that left elbow to, to cause our left shoulder to press down instead of hiking up toward the ear. We don't want to cause any tension there. If you're reaching up above, see how close you can get your top arm to the ear. And remember, if that shoulder bothers you, the arm can come down anytime. Breathe and expand the rib cage. Exhale, relax down. Good, nice and even across both sides of the body on the seat. And remember throughout our class today that you can release any pose anytime. Good, inhale and come on up. Exhale, release the arms, and we'll just quickly release the back, hands to knees, inhale, extend. Exhale, curve and round, press the belly button toward the spine. Inhale, up, lift, look up, shoulders down, elbows in, and come back to neutral. And now we'll come into our twist, sitting up nice and tall, core is strong, and we've reset our, our nice aligned position here. We're going to bring our left hand to the right knee. Right hand comes to the hip to start. Take a deep breath in, extend. Exhale, look out over the back shoulder and allow your shoulders to follow. Now here, if you feel ready, you can re re uh, place the right hand down on the seat of the chair or on the back of the chair, or you can reach out in line with the shoulder. What I want you to make sure of is that your knees are lined up and pointed forward in line with the hips. Sometimes we tend to swivel in our chair to try and get deeper, and we don't want that. And we also want to make sure our spine is straight, and we never let the chest cave in or the chin drop. Good. Now, I'd like you to feel free to move around in your stretches as well. So if you want to just kind of shift and adjust and notice the different areas where you're feeling the stretch today, then you can do so. Just do so mindfully and slowly with deep breathing. Good. You should feel this extension through the muscles of the back, maybe also the muscles of the shoulder, certainly through the torso. And we want no pain at all in the joints and the muscles. Good. One more deep breath in. Exhale, we'll come through neutral and right around to the other side. You can reset the back if you need to. Right hand to the left knee, left hand to the hip to begin. We inhale and extend first. Exhale, look out over the back shoulder and allow your shoulders to follow. So that sequence of movements allows us to begin our stretch from the top of the spine down to the belly button and really control it as we go, focusing on, uh, on what's moving when and that's gonna help us to get a better, um, better quality of stretch as well as uh, prevent injury. Squeezing the core, exhaling as you twist. Good. And uh, now we're coming into the static stretch where we're stretching and holding, whereas when we did this in the beginning in our warm up, we were dynamic stretching, so there are different types of stretch. And the static stretch should never be done before any kind of weight training because it will temporarily weaken your muscles. But the dynamic stretch is fine to do any time because it opens up our joints and warms things. One more deep breath in as you extend. 
exhale, look forward, square the shoulders forward, and we'll rest the knees to release the spine, extending through the crown of the head. Exhale, curve and round. Inhale, up, lift, look up, shoulders down, elbows in. Exhale, curve and round. And come back to neutral. Good. Now we're going to shift to one side in our chair with the knees still facing forward and come right to the back of our chair. So this is one, one place where we notice it's important to have no arms on your chair if that's possible or to be on a stool. One side of the body is on the chair. The other side is off the chair. We're going to grasp the uh, left side of the chair with the left hand sitting up tall. Right hand comes to the hip and the right leg extends straight out to the side. So we're looking now into lower body, into the adductor, hip and thigh. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale and tip from the hip. You can bring the left elbow to the thigh. You can grasp the wrist if you want to. I'd like you to make sure your shoulders stay um, lined up with the toes and we don't turn toward the bent knee unless you need to in order to relieve the twist on the hip and knee on that right side. Good. We want to make sure we're looking for that stretch in the inside of the right thigh. Lift your tailbone up toward the sky. And just a reminder too that if you're arriving to class a little later, and it should never be more than 10 minutes late to class, um, if we're doing uh, one side of position like this, you just want to make sure you do the same thing on the other side if you miss that part. So we can make sure we're nice and balanced. So just take a moment if you need to at any time. When you're ready, if you'd like, you can reach the fingertips down toward the floor, inside the feet. And if this becomes painful or uncomfortable, then hold back, take, a, take it down a notch or two, and reassess, and then um, come back into the pose if you feel safe. If you'd like to deepen your stretch, turn your shoulders toward the straight leg. Good. Relax down. And um, stretching is a little different from strength training. With strength training, we want to feel uh, things in a very specific target area. But with stretching, it's going to be wherever you're tight on a given day. And that can vary one muscle group to the next, one side of the body to the next. So we're just working with it. We never want pain in the joints, even though you will be stretching things like tendons and ligaments and surrounding muscle tissue. So just be aware. Good, and now let's walk the hands back to center and we'll press up. Sit up tall. Now we're gonna place the right hand on the right hip, hand on the straight leg side, you might be on the other side. Inhale, left arm up toward the sky, extend through the fingertips, brace your core, contract the muscles of that straight leg, and then we're going to bend from the belly button to the crown of the head over the straight leg. So what I'd like you to make sure of here is that you're not leaning from the lower body. We brace the core and suck the belly button toward the spine to keep the lower back straight and strong, and then we bend from the belly button up. This is also why we have that leg contracted. This is to protect the knee. So make sure you never relax the leg or collapse the knee in this position. Remember your top hand can come down to the hip or in front of the shoulder anytime. And if you'd like to deepen your stretch here, that right hand can reach across to the left knee. Good. Look up toward the sky if it's okay for your neck and shoulders. Otherwise you can look toward the floor. And just remember, this is your class, so you can reduce your intensity anytime. You can release the pose completely anytime. Our only two rules are if it hurts, don't do it, and breathe deeply and smile. Beyond that, it's all up to you. Now let's inhale and come up. Exhale, release the arm, grasp the chair, and we'll draw the leg in. Work out that knee and hip, and you might notice how your hip feels a little bit weaker now because it's been stretched out. So that's gonna change. We wanna make sure that we're always being mindful of that so we can prevent injury. Shifting to the other side now, coming right to the back of your chair. Grab a drink of water if you need one. And we're straightening out that left leg straight out to the side with the toes pointed forward. Sitting up nice and tall. And we'll tip from the hip. So make sure here again, when you begin your stretch, your spine is nice and straight. We don't wanna round forward. Good, because we want to lift the tailbone toward the sky and get the deepest possible extension in the adductors of that left thigh. Your fingertips can come to the floor if you feel ready. Just make sure too that you're not up high and reaching for the floor with one hand so that you can get deeper into the stretch because getting deeper into the pose is never the goal. The goal is to feel the stretch while we stay safe doing it. Good. If you like more of a stretch, you can angle the shoulders toward the straight leg. 
Make sure that straight leg knee feels safe here. You can relax down a little further if it's comfortable for you. And we're breathing deeply always, deep into the rib cage and lower belly. Relax the shoulders down. Good. And then we'll come back to center and press up. Sitting up tall, readjust your position if you need to. And we're going to place the left hand on the hip. Inhale the right arm up toward the sky, shoulders down. And we'll exhale and bend. Good. So again, our core is strong. That left leg is nice and strong here. So yoga is not just about flexibility. It's also about strength and endurance. So that's what I'd like you to build while you're here. And it's really okay. If you're up here today, both hands on the hips, this leg straight in front, that's fine. Okay, so just work within your level of flexibility. Good, breathe. And in this position, we want to feel the stretch mostly in that right rib cage. If you like, you can reach across to that right knee. Lengthening through the fingertips. And check your shoulders are pressing down. They tend to want to help in just about every pose, but they can't. So we're just going to relax them so we don't end up with tension headaches later. Breathe into the fingertips. And remember that arm positioning is up to you. Now let's inhale and come up. Exhale, release the arm, grasp the chair, draw the leg in. And we'll do a quick back release right down the middle. So if you can, come right to the edge of your chair, grasping the knees, take a deep breath in, sit up tall. Exhale, curve and round. Good, inhale up, lift, look up, shoulders down. Exhale, curve and round. And come back to neutral. Okay, I think we'll come into our warrior series now before we come to standing. So we're going to do this series twice today, one from seated and one from standing. And uh, I'd just like you to take a minute, if you can, to notice the difference in the stretches once we get to the standing version. So I'd like you to now turn to the side in your chair. The back of the chair is against your right side, and you're going to grasp it with your right hand. The right side of the body is on the chair, the left side is off the chair. Outside hand comes to the hip, and the outside knee is going to drop down underneath the hip. Make sure your toes are pointed forward, unless for some reason that's painful for you, and then of course you can adjust. We're going to tuck the tailbone and see if you can find the stretch in the front of that left thigh and the hip flexor. Good. Shoulders down and back away from the ears, and we're breathing deeply. Good. Now I'd like you to tip forward and bring the elbows to the front thigh. We're just going to grab a quick uh, calf and Achilles tendon stretch while we're here. Straighten out the back leg as much as you're able and press into the heel. Just see if you can bring that stretch down into the lower leg. Shoulders press down away from the ears. Don't let them pop up. Good. And now we're going to use the hands to press up. And as you move, I want you to continue tucking the tailbone so that we don't end up with a big arch in the base of the spine. Now, if you feel ready, you can reach up with the arm on the back leg side or with both arms. Make sure those back toes stay pointed forward. And if you need to bend that back knee, you can. Okay? Good. Now, if you'd like a little more, you can push into the soles of the feet. Good. Breathing deeply, suck the belly button toward the spine. Good, relax the shoulders down. Mm -hmm. One more deep breath in. Exhale, down through prayer. We're gonna bend the back knee, turn the back foot 90 degrees to the front foot and extend it out. So now your left leg positioning is completely up to you. You can straighten it out in front. Uh, the knee can point toward the sky and the toes in line with the knee if that's better for your body. Just make sure that wherever the leg is, we're not allowing that knee to collapse inward because that's going to that's gonna cause us uh, an injury, maybe not today, but someday. And now we're going to reach out with both arms in line with the front leg. So no matter where your back leg is pointing, we'd like to have both arms lined up with the front leg. I'd like you to feel your shoulders open up. As you inhale, reach for the side walls. <coughs> Pardon me. And as you exhale, relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Breathe. Now here in Warrior Two, I'd like you to make sure that you're just nice, firmly, nice and firmly placed right here in the center of your pose. We're never leaning forward or leaning back. They say that we're never reaching for the future or living in the past in yoga. So that's that's where we are, right here in the center. Good. 
Um, I'd like you to find your gaze. So fix your eyes on anything that's not moving. In this pose, it's uh, traditionally the nail of the middle finger that's over the bent knee. And in yoga, we call that gaze the drishti. And when we focus our eyes, then our, uh, our mind can come to rest on our breathing and what's going on with our bodies rather than what's happening in the world around us. Good, very good. One more deep breath in as you reach. And we'll exhale the front hand or elbow to the front thigh. Swing the left arm down across the front of the body and open up toward the sky. So another deep side bend. I'd like you to notice how your back is doing. If you don't have back problems in general, then focus especially on your lower spine. Make sure it feels strong. And I'd like you to look for the stretch in the rib cage and side body. Press your elbow down to the thigh. Press the bottom shoulder down away from the ear. Remember that you can reach out at shoulder height or bring the hand to the hip anytime. Good. Now let's inhale and come up. Exhale, release the arm. We're going to grasp the chair, draw the back leg in and straighten it out. So now it's very important that you're on the edge of your seat. You don't necessarily even have to move because your legs should be in the proper positioning for you to get it perfectly straight. And I'd like you to bring both hands to the bent knee. Flex the left toes back toward the body. Take a deep breath in and sit up tall. Exhale, tip from the hip and lift your tailbone up toward the sky. You can bring the elbows to that knee if you like. You can reach for the toes if you want to, but don't make touching the toes the goal. Our goal is to feel the stretch in the hamstring. Make sure you don't bend the knee. Good, lift your tailbone up toward the sky. And if you find you're up here, the knee is slightly bent and you're already feeling that stretch of the hamstring, it's okay not to push it further. That's all we're looking for is an extension from wherever we are today. Good. Notice where you can relax, maybe through the shoulders, maybe through the jaw. Excellent. Now let's come on back up and release the leg and come along to the other side. So turn to the left side in your chair. And I say left and right throughout the class. It doesn't really matter what side you're on as long as you switch when I do. So we're going to sit up nice and tall, shoulders down and back. We're grasping the back of the chair with the inside hand. Outside hand comes to the hip. And we're going to drop the outside knee down underneath the hip. First thing I'd like you to do is tuck the tailbone and find the stretch in the hip flexor and quadricep. Nice deep breathing right into the muscle you feel stretching. And as you exhale, just ask it to relax a little deeper into that stretch. Drop your knee down toward the floor. And remember again, if any part of this is painful for you, you can release this pose anytime. Breathing deeply and smiling, focusing on that breath is really the only yoga we need to do. When you're ready, you can tip forward. And bring the elbows to that front thigh and straighten out the back leg as much as you're able. And we're looking now for that stretch in the bottom of the, of the calf and Achilles tendon down toward that heel. Good. Nice deep breaths. And now we'll press up onto that front knee. And as you rise again, I'd like you to tuck the tailbone, uh, remove the arch from the base of the spine. So if you're all the way up here and there's a big arch in your back, but the leg is straight, that's, uh, that's not a great spot to be. You want to make sure that you're not compromising your spine at any point. Good. You can bend the knee if you need to. And if you'd like, you can reach up with the arm on the back leg side or with both arms. Good. Breathe into that stretch. Shoulders down, away from the ears. And you can push into the soles of the feet if you want to. You don't even have to lift up off the chair. You can just engage those muscles and that will do a lot for you. Good. One more deep breath in. Exhale and we'll release the arms. Bend the back knee. Turn the back foot at 90 degrees to the front foot and place the sole of the foot down on the ground. So remember, you have options. You can come up onto the side of the foot as long as you're not collapsing the knee down and that leg can come in front. You can point the knee and the toe forward instead. And then we're gonna reach both arms out in line with the front leg, no matter where that back leg is pointed. And remember, your hands can always come down to the hips or to the chair if that's more comfortable for you. Shoulders down. And we're extending toward those side walls. So now again, uh, fix your gaze, preferably on the nail of the middle finger that's over the bent knee. Sit tall, nice and solid in the center of your pose. 
As you inhale, think of expanding the ribcage. As you exhale, relax the shoulders down. Feel the arms get longer, good. One more deep breath in. Exhale the front hand or elbow to the thigh. Swing the back arm down across the front of the body and open up toward the sky. So again, you're looking for that stretch. No matter where that top arm is, you're looking for that stretch in the side body on that right side. Good, keep the core nice and strong. And breathe into that extension. Always let your breathing help your stretch. Relax as you exhale. Good. Now let's inhale and come up. Exhale, release the arm, grasp the chair, draw the leg in and we'll straighten that leg right out. Readjust your positioning so that you can get that leg straight. Um, that just means that if you're sitting back even a little bit, your knee is gonna bend, so we wanna be right on the edge. So that hip can lengthen. Flex the toes back towards you. Sit up tall, shoulders down away from the ears. Hands can come to the bent knee. I'm gonna take a deep breath in. Exhale and tip from the hip. And again, your elbow can come to the thigh. You can reach for the toes if you want to. Just try not to allow your shoulder to carry forward if you can help it. Good. Straighten out that leg as much as you can. Lift your tailbone and feel that extension. Good. Now let's come on back up. And we'll release the leg and recenter ourselves. Excellent. Quick little forward fold before we come to standing. So you can uh, you can leave the hands on the thighs or come with me and inhale the arms out to the sides and overhead. Exhale and fold forward. Just relax down here for a moment. Feel the lower back loosen out. Relax the arms and neck. And now we'll push into the soles of the feet, slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Roll the shoulders down and back. You can reach the arms out to the sides and overhead with me if you like. And release down through prayer, and now we'll come through our seat assisted squat to standing. So, hands are anywhere except on the thighs or the chair if you can help it. And we're going to tip forward from the hip, inhale, exhale, push into the heels, and come to standing. So, we're going to do that a few more times. Um, first, I'd like us to find our feet. So, you can come beside or behind your chair if you'd like, grab a drink of water on the way. Now that we're standing, our chair is here for our stability and balance, and you're more than welcome to come back down to sitting any time. Good. So just rock back and forth across the balls of the feet and the heels, settling down in the center. Standing nice and tall on all four corners of the feet, and I'd like you to just push into the outsides of the feet a little bit and feel the muscles of the legs engage. Our knees are soft, tailbone is tucked, core strong, shoulders down and back, chest proud, neck long, and the chin is tucked. And we're not putting any weight on the chair, we're just gonna use it for our balance and stability. Now let's take a deep breath in and focus our gaze on anything that's not moving, and then we'll exhale and come up onto the toes. Good. Now if you'd like, you can lift one hand or both. You can reach one arm or both up toward the sky if you're feeling confident with your balance today. Relax your shoulders down away from the ears. One more deep breath in. Exhale, down onto the heels. Hands come to the back of the chair and I'd like you to bend the knees and just sit down into the heels. See if you can find the stretch in the lower leg, in the Achilles tendon and calf. So we're not really sitting back into chair pose yet like we will be. We're tipping those knees forward and driving the heels down. Make sure your knees stay lined up with the hips and ankles. One more deep breath in. Exhale, stand tall, reach the arms up toward the sky if you like, and you can come up onto the toes with me. Remember, one or both hands or fingertips can come to the back of the chair anytime. Good, so we're standing tall, looking for that balance, relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears as much as we can, and focusing that gaze on anything not moving. One more deep breath in. Exhale, down onto the heels, and we're just gonna fold forward this time. Hands can come to the back of the chair, or the seat of the chair, or you can relax all the way down toward the floor if you'd like. You can grasp the elbows and swing from side to side here. If this makes you feel dizzy or nauseated, make sure you're not lowering the head below the heart line, so keep it higher. And just breathe. Good, and now we're just gonna slowly bend the knees and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders down and back. You can come with me and reach the arms out to the sides and overhead. 
Exhale, release down through prayer and release the arms. Okay, now we're going to stand in front of our chair again and come into our squat pose. So um, this is called Utkatasana, which uh, literally means awkward pose. So it's definitely one of our favorites. It is a little awkward, but it's going to feel more comfortable as we go, which means that we're strengthening the muscles of the lower legs so we can do that sit to stand forever. So I'd like you to back up so that you would feel comfortable sitting down into your chair right now without touching your chair. Okay? Your feet are at least hip width apart, maybe a little wider is better for you, and they're pointed in the same direction, so maybe not perfectly straight forward, but we don't have one in one direction and then one in another. Good, so again, finding the soles of your feet, soft knees, we're feeling nice and tall, shoulders down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, and we're going to sit down, reach forward at shoulder height if that's comfortable for you, and stop just about an inch above your chair. You might be touching it with the backs of your thighs. Now push into the outsides of the feet. You can come all the way down to the chair anytime or stand. Now let's inhale and reach the arms up alongside the ears if you're able. Exhale and come on up. And we'll release the arms. Great, work out the ankles. We're gonna do that one more time on this side. Shoulders down and back, reset your position. I want you to feel really nice and tall here. I'm gonna take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach straight forward if it's okay for your neck and shoulders and sit down just an inch above your chair. Suck the belly button toward the spine, push into the outsides of the feet, feel the strength in those muscles. Yeah, really good. Now let's inhale, reach the arms up above, looking up toward the ears. Exhale and push into the soles of the feet and we'll release the arms. Excellent, work out the ankles. And we're gonna come behind our chair again. So that sit to stand is something that we wanna be able to do on our own for the rest of our lives. So I encourage you, do that slowly with deep breathing. Exhale as you push and stand, and make sure that your alignment is always good, knees, hips, and ankles. Okay, now we're gonna do our standing warrior series. So, <clears throat> standing behind our chair, once again, finding our perfect posture, feeling nice and tall and solid on all four corners of the feet. And we're going to shift to the left foot and extend the right leg straight back with the toes pointed forward. Good. And then we're just going to very gently press that heel toward the floor. And I'd like you to first just bend down and bring the elbows to the back of the chair. Now I'd like you to make sure that your back foot is pointed forward. This is going to vary in different styles of yoga. But for our purposes today, we want our joints all aligned forward and we want to find that stretch in the Achilles tendon and calf, which we'll lose if we turn. Good. Check the shoulders are wide. They're not up toward the ears. Sing a little deeper if you can by bending the front knee. Just make sure your weight stays in the heel of the front foot and doesn't come up into the toe. When you're ready, you can press up onto the back of the chair and tuck the tailbone as you rise. And here again, we're using our core muscles, using our core strength to find the stretch in the front of that, um, that hip. You can reach up with the arm on the back leg side, or with both arms. Sink a little deeper if you're able. Now make sure that you never lose sight of your front big toe. It might be under the chair and that's okay. Um, and actually having that chair a little closer to you can be a good guideline if you feel that your knee often goes too far. Good, push down into the heel of your front foot. Remember that arm positioning is up to you. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands down to the back of the chair. Good, now we're gonna lift the back heel up off the floor, turn the back foot at nine degrees to the front foot and place it back down. So now here we are again in our warrior two and we wanna make sure that this back knee and hip feels safe. So reduce or um, change your angle if you need to. And we're gonna reach both arms out in line with the front leg. Our front knee is bent and the, the toes are still pointed toward that chair. Good. Shoulders down and back away from the ears and we're reaching for the side walls. Now, if you're able, fix your gaze on the nail of the middle finger that's over the bent knee. Your hand might be on that chair and you can just fix your gaze on anything at all that's not moving. And really focus on tuning into your breathing. As you exhale, relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Really good, guys. One more deep breath in. Exhale the hand to the back of the chair and we're going to swing that right arm down across the front of the body and open up toward the sky. As you move, I'd like you to press the hips forward and press the bottom shoulder down away from the ear. Good. 
Check your top shoulder is down away from the ear and there's no tension in our neck and shoulder. So you can bring that top hand down to the hip or behind the back anytime. Good. Breathe into the stretch. Feel your rib cage open up and relax as you exhale. Good. Now let's inhale and come up. Exhale, release the arm. We're going to lift the back heel up off the floor, turn the toes forward and just step in or back or a combination of both and shake out the legs and we'll come along to the other side. Now, so standing nice and tall once again behind our chairs. Good, finding the soles of our feet. I'd like you to do that a couple of times throughout the day. It really helps with our stress levels and mindfulness. Now shifting to the right leg, we'll extend the left leg straight back behind us and the toes stay pointed forward and then we're just going to press that back heel down toward the floor and relax down onto the back of the chair. Good. So find that stretch in the Achilles tendon and calf on that back leg. Check that your shoulders are down away from the ears. When we put weight on the arms, we do tend to tense them up. And I want you to bring, there's no tension in the shoulders, there's contraction in the muscles of the arms and the chest and the back. And that's how we're holding ourselves here. Pressing down into that back heel. And we never move too far too fast. These, some of these smaller muscles can be really tight and we don't want to damage them by, uh, by forcing them too quickly. Good. And now we're going to press up and tuck the tailbone as we rise. Lace up the core. Great. And you can reach up with the arm on the back leg side or with both arms. Sink a little deeper if you're able. And breathe. Good. Deeply into the belly and rib cage. And remember, guys, this is your class still, so you can reduce your intensity. You can come back down to sitting anytime. We're almost done with standing poses. Good. And just drive into that front heel and really feel your strength if you choose to remain in this pose. One more deep breath in. Exhale the hands to the back of the chair. We'll lift that back heel up off the floor. Turn the foot to the side at 90 degrees to the front foot and place it back down. Good. So now our front knee is bent. Toes are still pointed toward the chair. Our back leg is straight and the back foot is at 90 degrees to the front foot. And of course you can adjust your leg positioning anytime. Good. Now inhale, reach those arms out, one or both, and we're going to relax the shoulders down and find our gaze, nail of the middle finger that's over that bent knee in the chair. Sink a little deeper if you're able. Good. Find the ankle and the toe of that front foot. Reach for the side walls, expand. Good. One more deep breath in. And we're going to exhale the hand to the back of the chair and swing that back arm down across the front of the body, opening up toward the sky. Press your bottom shoulder down away from the ear. So the safety of our joints is always the priority. And then we find our stretch around that, um, find the expansion through the rib cage and the obliques on that left side. Breathe deeply. Good. Now let's inhale and come up. Exhale, release the arm, lift the back heel up off the floor, turn the toes forward and we'll step in or back or a combination of both and shake it off. And we're going to finish off our standing, standing poses with just a nice easy forward fold. So nice and tall behind your chair. And you can leave the fingertips on the chair or come with me and inhale the arms out to the sides and overhead. A little baby back bend here on the top of the spine. And we'll exhale and fold forward. Hands can come to the back of the chair, the seat of the chair, or you can relax all the way down toward the floor. Just let your body hang and get some nice fresh air to the brain. Relax the neck if you can. Breathe. And then we'll just bend the knees and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders down and back. Reach the arms out to the sides and overhead. Little baby back bend. And release down through prayer. Release the arms. Great job. We're going to come back down to our seats through our perfect seat assisted squat. So with uh, alignment um, and this controlled concentric movement where we come into the downward phase of an exercise slowly is what we do when we can't come into the upward phase easily. So if you're on the chair and you can't stand easily, then start at the top and do the downward phase slowly to strengthen those muscles. Stand tall. Inhale. And you can exhale and reach the arms forward. 
slowly coming down, landing very, very softly with perfect alignment. And relax down onto your chair. Excellent job. Um, work out any kinks that you might happen to have at any time. And uh, oh my goodness, time flies. So we're going to come into a little bit of upper body now. Releasing the arms to the sides, just shake them out for a moment. We're going to reach the arms out to the sides and overhead or straight out in front. And I'd like you to grasp the right wrist with the left hand as you inhale and lengthen the arm out. And then we're going to exhale and bend. So you might be down here with the arms at shoulder height or even lower. And you're going to notice that um, depending on where your arms are, we're all going to try those ones in a moment. Um, it's going to change where your stretch is focused. So with the arms up above, we're feeling this in that right underarm and down the side ball. Check that there's no pain in the neck and shoulders. Good. Now we're going to inhale through neutral and switch sides. Exhale the right shoulder down. So we're squeezing our core. We're staying nice and even across both sides of the body on the chair. Shoulders are down away from the ears. You can look toward the sky if it's comfortable. Now inhale, come on up. And we'll exhale and release the arms. Shake them out. We're going to do the same thing, this time reaching straight forward. Grasp the right wrist with the left hand. Inhale and extend the arm out. Draw it out with the left hand. And now we're going to exhale and drop the left shoulder down toward the hip. Now you're going to feel that stretch coming down into the side body, hopefully also into the lats in the back of the body, next to the spine. Squeeze your core. Now inhale through neutral. Switch sides. And exhale, draw the arm out. Drop the right shoulder down. Good. Squeeze. Now inhale into neutral and we'll release the arm. Shake it out. Release the back if you need to. And now we're going to bring the arms down to knee level. Still sitting up tall, so make sure you're not letting the chest cave in. We're going to grasp the right wrist with the left hand. Inhale, extend, draw the arm down. Exhale and bend. Now see if you can find the stretch up here into the traps as well as the shoulder and side body. Good. Now we're going to inhale through neutral, switch, and drop the right shoulder down as we exhale. Press that left shoulder way down, find the extension. Now inhale to neutral and we'll release. Reach the arms out to the sides, thumbs pointing toward the back of the room and the palms toward the sky. I'd like you to spread the fingers and tip the wrists down and back, allow the arms to follow. If your shoulders are bothering you, just relax the arms down here and you can even rest the hands on the thighs. Breathe, reach for the side walls and feel the whole front of the body and the arms just open up. And we'll release and shake it out. Now let's bring the right arm across the front of the body, grasping just above the elbow. Take a deep breath in. We're going to exhale, press the elbow down and draw the arm in toward the body, giving yourself the pat on the back. Yes. Good. Keep those shoulders down. Excellent. We're still breathing deeply, and I want you to make sure that the shoulder is pressing down here and not crowding up toward the ear so that we don't lose the stretch. If you'd like, you can straighten out the right arm. You can turn the palm down and forward if you'd like. Lengthen the neck. Good. And then we'll release the arm, reach the arms out to the sides, quick release. And then we come to the other side. Left arm comes across, grab just above the elbow, press down and draw it in. And we're never pulling really hard. We're just very gently drawing in. Give yourself a pat. Sit up tall. You can reach that arm out if you like. Turn the palm down and forward. Good. Nice deep breaths. And then we'll release the arms. Reach the arms out to the sides. Good. And now we're going to come into triceps. So reaching that right elbow up toward the sky. You can press from underneath or grasp from on top or nothing at all. Or bring those fingertips up between the shoulder blades if you're feeling flexible. Good. Keep those shoulders down away from the ears. And I want you to make sure here that your arm positioning um, does not affect your neck positioning. So if you need to be bending your upper spine in order to get your arm into this position, I'd like you to bring it down a level or two and focus, prioritize your, your posture first. Good. Breathe. And always modification of your choice. See if you can find the stretch in the back of that right arm. And then we'll release and reach out to the sides. Once again, just releasing the shoulders. And then the left arm comes up. You can again press from the bottom, grasp from on top, release that hand to the thigh, or grasp the fingertips. Good, so check that your shoulders are down. Neck is long, we're gazing forward. Mm -hmm. Good, breathe into the stretch. And then we'll release the arms, reach the arms out to the sides. 
and finishing with the hand massage. So um, the left fingertips come to the back of the right hand, left thumb comes to the right palm. And we're gonna work around in the, the um, largest muscle, that muscle that controls our thumb. Good, and you're just working it out, not pressing really hard, just easing that, finding that um, soft bits and making some space in between tendons and ligaments. Coming down the palm, and if you find sore spots, you can focus on them as long as it feels like a relief to you and it's not painful. Good. And then we're coming onto the side of the hand, that little muscle that controls the pinky. So this is going to improve your circulation. It helps with things like carpal tunnel syndrome. You can come down into the wrist if you, if you like. Um, arthritis certainly is helped by this. Hypertension, lots of things. So I do encourage you. We all have a little bit of time to do this at some point during the day, for sure. And then we're going to take all the left fingers and the thumb and wrap them around at the base of the right thumb and roll and squeeze all the way to the end. So you're not pulling really hard. Remember, nothing about yoga is really working hard or forceful. It's being in this space with mindfulness and, uh, and just, uh, just doing what, what feels right. So just easing into those fingers. Good, and then release them out. Squeeze and open and shake. Good, and then coming to the other side. And uh, on that note too, remember too that what feels right for your body is going to change from one day to the next. So maybe yesterday this didn't feel great at all and today it's, it's uh, causing you a lot of ease or maybe one spot is sore. So just notice those changes too, that's important. And then we'll come down between the tendons and ligaments, in between the knuckles. Good. And reflexology says that there are points in our hands and our feet and our faces that are connected with the organs in our bodies. So uh, this can be helpful for things like that too. And then coming down onto the side of the hand. Good. And then taking all of the fingers and the thumb, the base of the thumb rolling and squeezing all the way to the end. Good. Excellent. And relax your shoulders. You can be resting the hands down on the thighs if you'd like. Mm. Excellent. And then we'll release. Shake it out. And we're going to finish off with a full body stretch. Breathe in deep. Reach out through the fingertips and toes. I'd like you to take up lots of space. And exhale. Bring everything in. Curve and round. Let's do it again. Breathe in deep. Reach out. Lengthen and smile. Exhale. Bring it in. One more time. Inhale. Extend, extending through those fingertips and toes. Exhale. Bring it in and come back to neutral. Great job guys. So now we're going to come into our final relaxation for the last nine minutes or so. Um, we're going to come into a little bit of a breathing practice. So um, I'd like you to find your comfortable seated or laying down position, whatever that looks like to you, and also socks or sweaters or whatever you need to um, feel warm and comfortable as we come down. Alright, so um, the purpose of meditation is really just to quiet the mind and beyond that we can choose our pattern of thought. So that's what we're focusing on today, um, but with this breathing practice, um, it's a modification of what's known as the 478 breath and the 478 breath is uh, a method that's used for sleeping. So this isn't quite so intense, um, but what we're going to do is lengthen our exhalation and what that does is what's called hacking the vagus nerve, which is directly connected with, uh, with our tension, with our heart rate. Um, so we're going to deliberately lower our heart rate and find a little bit of peacefulness with our mindfulness at the same time. So um, just a reminder as well that if this becomes uncomfortable, if you feel like you're hyperventilating, you're getting dizzy, then of course you can stop the practice anytime. So with the four, seven, eight breath, we would inhale for four counts, hold for seven counts, and exhale for eight counts. With this breath, we're gonna inhale for four counts, hold for two counts, exhale for seven counts, hold at the bottom for two counts, okay? So sitting up nice and tall, and I'll walk you through it. I'd like you breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, into the rib cage and lower belly. Take a deep breath in, feel the body expand for four, three, two, and hold on top for two, and exhale, six, five, four, pressing all of the air out, and hold for two, inhale, four, three, two, hold on top, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, Last one, hold on the bottom, inhale, six, three, uh, two, and hold on top, 
for two. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Okay, so try that breathing practice as you're coming into your meditative state. And if you can't remember the numbers, it's not a big deal. All you want to remember is that you're inhaling slowly and exhaling more slowly than you inhaled. So we're going to come into our final relaxation and I'll just take you through a full body relaxation here. So taking a deep breath in all the way down to the tips of the toes and closing the eyes. Exhale completely. Feel the body relax into the seat into the floor. Now just for a moment, I'd like you to bring your attention to today's class and give yourself that mental pat on the back for making it here, for making it through, and especially for maintaining the lines of communication with the body. It's so important. Our bodies tell us so much. And now we'll begin to relax from the bottom up, breathing in all the way down to the tips of the toes, the balls of the feet, the arches, heels and ankles, stirring up tension. Exhale it out, pressing it out of the body with focus. Breathe through the calves, the shin, the knee joints and thighs. Exhale tension all the way down to the bones. Breathe through the hips, pelvis, buttocks, and lower spine. As you exhale, feel them relax down into the seat, into the earth. Breathe through the muscles of the lower back, side body, and abdomen. As you exhale, feel the internal organs relax and the muscles relax. Breathe through the middle and upper back through the rib cage and solar plexus. As you exhale, allow the heart and lungs to slow down. Breathe through the collarbone, shoulders, biceps and elbows. Exhale tension, allowing the arms to relax at the sides. Breathe through the forearms, wrists, palms and backs of the hands. As you exhale, feel the fingertips let go of tension. Relax the muscles of the neck, through the top of the spine and the base of the skull. Relax the jaw. Relax the throat. Relax the muscles of the face, around the eyes, mouth and ears. Relax the brow, and lastly, release the breath, breathing naturally as you sink deeper into relaxation. slowly bring the attention back to the breath. Take a deep breath in and exhale completely. Gently bringing the attention back to the body, wiggle the fingers and toes, move the wrists and ankles around in circles. And if you're laying down, gently find your way to a comfortable seated position. Now let's take a deep breath in. Exhale and open the eyes. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me, everyone. And I hope to see you next time. Have a great day.